Namaste. Good morning from this beautiful, beautiful environment that we have around here, this Begnus Lake. Welcome to Yoga with Vic. Are we going to practice possibly one of the sweetest, if not the sweetest pose of all in yoga, child's pose or balasana? I think we all love it and even people who doesn't do yoga, I think they know it because it's just a, a great place to be. And uh, you will see that most of the times when you're practicing, if the teacher says give yourself a break, you can go to child's pose and just relax in there. It is a moment to really wind down, get yourself together and come back again. So let me show you how to do it. Basically you kneel, you separate your knees as wide as you can, as in in a comfortable position, you put your toes together, go really dirty feet because there's all this beautiful grass around here and accommodate the chest between your thighs so that's how big the aperture has to be so whatever feels good for you if you just um, you've got a small chest obviously you don't have to open so much but whatever is comfortable it's not a matter of thinking too much so start going down and we're going to aim to put the forehead on the floor if you don't reach for whatever reason please use a prop a block a blanket a towel a cushion anything you have and start going down the pelvic region is opening here as you can see just go down put your forehead on the floor try to put your buttocks towards the floor it doesn't mean that you have to reach compulsorily it's not a matter if this is not a contest but we're aiming to stretch from the sacrum to the cervical spine so all that part so the spine gets a great stretch in child's pose and it relaxes a lot all the spine so this is what we're looking for so go there put your head for your your forehead on the floor and the arms can be in a more active way you can stretch them ahead of you if that's the way you feel today or that's the moment you are in so you'll feel a really big stretch and you can even push yourself a little bit towards your buttocks and you'll feel that your column is really elongating. You're going to be taller after this. Or if you don't feel like doing an active one, just relax your, your hands in here. Put your forearms on the floor. And breathe. When you breathe, concentrate on the back. Your back the part, part of your lungs will be inflating so every time you inhale you will feel your like your hand <laughs> your back really going up and every time you exhale you'll feel your tummy area your abdominal area getting empty this pose really indu induces relaxation helps with sleep by the way so before going to bed is actually really good if you want to try also kind of fold a leaf if you want to go like this it's also possible but then you've got a bit more weight on your on your forehead some people don't really like it it really isn't tied up to you i kind of like this one ahead of me and sometimes when i feel a bit more powerful i just stretch just go here and just keep breathing as long as you need this way you don't have any stretch on the shoulders and you can really relax. And when you feel you're done, just with your eyes closed, very slowly crawl yourself up. Very, very slowly and mindfully. Go back to the vertical. Put your hands on your knees. Relax always your shoulders. No shrugging here, just relax. Shoulders away from the ears. Enjoy the pose also from the vertical point. And very, very slowly open your eyes. Oh, this is so good. I don't know how you feel, but I feel great. I could stay there forever. As I said, this is a very relaxing pose. Induces sleep. It's very, very good, very good for your back. And it also helps with the digestion. So it actually helps relieving constipation. So nothing bad about it it's just fantastic enjoy it thank you and namaste